Hey, I'm Dan Riggs, voice of the Smith Station Panthers, morning show host right here on The Kicker. And I'm Dean Mark Mitchell, voice of the Upper Lacka Bulldogs and host of On The Mark on 1520 AM. Well, a big Friday night of football action this past Friday night, Dean Mark. I know um, several big games, but uh, let's start with the big one, though. The Auburn Carver game, uh, it turned out, I think, how many really didn't think it was going to turn out. Well, no, and you and I talked here last week. Uh, first off, Oklahoma like did play Thursday, so it was a big Thursday, but no, I'm just kidding about that. But, um, yeah, it was a unique game in that we both knew how good Carver mm -hmm. it, it is. And you, your team's played Auburn. We have not. We know they're very talented. I don't think anybody pictured Carver coming out to a 39 nothing lead. And it seemed like every time they touched the ball, they scored. And, mm -hmm. and literally there for a while they did. And uh, Carver's got a talented quarterback, they've got a talented offensive line, they've got a talented running back, they're defensive talent, and they're very well coached. And you put that together and you've got a pretty doggone football team. And I think, you know, Auburn just got out of their element, element early and played into Carver's element. Carver has the run fast kind of deal. When I say run, not necessarily running the ball, but up-tempo style mm -hmm. offense. And when they get going, it's hard to stop them. And Auburn never could control the ball. It was, it was sort of a little taste of their own medicine, something yep. they've been delivered to a lot of teams, and, and they met a team that had that matched them well. But I do think um, Auburn was a much better football team than they showed defensively, too, uh, on that side of the ball. Offensively, um, they did put up some points, put up 21 points on them, and uh, really played them pretty tight in the second half. But um, it was just a big hole to dig yourself early. Thirty, Like you said, 30-plus 30 po 30 points is tough to get out of that hole. Yeah, I agree. And I think Auburn may have changed a little defense. They they tried to put Foster in the middle of the field, it looked like, and, and kind of spread everybody out. And it obviously did not work. But there's no doubt Auburn's a very good football team. Mm -hmm. They just ran into an area, very good football team in our area, and sometimes that just happens. Yeah, big you game know. they'll have Friday night. We'll talk a little about that. But uh, Opelika played on Thursday night. You were down uh, at halftime. Well, 12 to nothing to Lanier. Very shocking, but boy, a second half, second half performance I haven't seen out of a team in a long time. Yeah, they played Thursday night, but they only played a half. That's right. <laughs> and it was the second half. Yeah, they, Carver, I mean, Lanier scores 12 straight in the first half, and then Opelika scores 43 straight in the second half. And man, it was just a tale of totally two different teams. First half, Opelika very lethargic, no energy, nothing going on. Whatever happened at halftime, wow. Because mm. they came out second half, two plays. We had the ball, intercepted, touchdown, you know, seemed like two seconds later, touchdown. And we were ahead in a matter of about, in fact, we were ahead with 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. That's right. So, you know, and they was off to the races after that. Certainly the tail of two halves. For yes, sure. it was. And we need to play four halves, four, excuse me, four quarters, two halves. This week, as Oplaka travels down to your neck of the woods, Smith Station. That's right. Smith Station played one of the best performances I have seen uh, in a long time. Uh, Coach Mark Roseboy, if you want to talk about a team that was prepared to play football Friday night, uh, you know, 40 plus points against Lanier in the first half, or against, uh, I should say, Robert E. Lee in the first half. And um, really, you know, down the stretch, uh, Lanier did put up some points, a couple big plays, but uh, they dominated the game from start to finish. Yeah, I was listening and you know, I was like, my goodness, you know, they're doing everything they want to. And then Coach Blackman talked to me after the game and said, hey, they, they, they played about as good a game as I think they can play. Mm -hmm. And then you told me that, so I was like, well, looks like Oklahoma and, <laughs> and Smith's would be a dandy. And let me say this, we've got a five-way tie in our region. That's right. For first place, Oklahoma, Auburn, Central, Smith's, and uh, Car uh, uh, Oklahoma, Smith, uh, Carver. That's all, right. I got kind of confused. They're all with uh, identical records. So this weekend will definitely be a change up in first place. Well, I know uh, Beulah got a big win for homecoming. Wow, four wins already. That's right. That's, that's awesome. If they don't win another game, <laughs> they've they've done something great. Four Absolutely. Wins. Beauregard, boy, put up put up sixty plus points. They 69. got back on the winning track. Yeah, sixty nine didn't allow you know a score. They're definitely back on both. Oh yeah. They stepped out and went to six. They ain't got beat, but in four way they're going to be a hard team mm -hmm. to beat. And uh, Lee Scott got another big win. Yeah, I told you here last week. I thought Lee Scott would roll the dice and finish nine and one, and they're, they're, they're on their way. They're six and one, and they'll be Lyman Ward, you know, Friday night, uh, you know, and they'll be on their way. And they're gonna play your team at the end of the year on the tenth game, and turn around and have to play them in the first round of the playoffs the next week. Mm -hmm. So t Hooper's gonna get two shots at least. That, that will be. That's what it looks like. Coach yeah. Maddox told me that several weeks back, and uh, and I told him I said, well, that'll be. An, um, Interesting matchup two weeks in a row. Play a team, any team you play back to back like that is a, yeah. is a weird matchup. I wouldn't want to play a team. He didn't yeah. even, even if you win, well, I would rather play a team back to back maybe if you lost. And people say that's crazy, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Because it's hard to beat a good team twice, especially mm -hmm. back to back. Well, this week, Lee Scott, Lyman Ward, 
a game, uh, the Warriors, like you said, I think they'll continue yeah. to win. I think they will. I think they'll take care of them and, and should. And then Auburn Central, that's going to be interesting to see how will be. Auburn responds from a loss to go to Central, where Central beat Carver at the very place they're going. So very interesting match up there. And, of course, uh, Valley got back on the winning ways last week. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about Beulah. They got a tough match with Dable this week. Kind of tough, but they got them at Beulah. And, of that's course, right. Uh, we talked about Oklahoma traveling to Smith, and, and Public got a win last Thursday night. And That's right. They keep winning there in the playoffs in the high seed, so it ought to be a, another interesting weekend. Everybody's still in region play. And I'll, I'll say for the 6A matchups, it'll be interesting to see which Central team shows up yep. in that game against Auburn, and then in the Opelika Smiths game, it'll be interesting to see which Opelika team shows up and which Smith Station team shows up. I think that'll really be whichever team can bring their A game, and if both bring their A game, that should be a, that should be a real good one down well, towards the end. I agree, and I heard Coach Rose on the scoreboard show Friday night say the game might end at 8.30 because both teams you know, like to run. They That's may right. very well do that, <laughs> but Opelika has got to come out in the first half. That's play. right. All their road games this year combined, only 14 points mm -hmm. in the first half. They can't do that Friday night against a good Smith Station. Yeah. Smith is key to that game because they're going to have to pass effectively, get the pressure off the run game because right. Smith loves to run the football, but in order for that to work, you've got to take a little pressure off the line of scrimmage. And if they can do that, then that'll put them right there in the ball game. Yeah, and another team a little bit outside our area lost a very tough game last week. Lafayette lost. That mm -hmm. was a heartbreaker. And you know, they've got a very good football team, and I think they'll get back in. But I wanted to mention that because I like Coach Coker, and they got a very good football team. And, uh, very, very tough loss Friday night for them. Well, don't miss out. All the area high school coaches, every coach from around the area will be with you at uh, the Four Seasons Federal Credit Union. High school coaches show live at Beef O'Brady's. That's every Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. And online at kickerfm.com, too. Streams if you're outside the area. Great preview, too. Starts at 6. We'll have them all there till we finish. High school scoreboard show Friday nights on 97.7 Kicker FM. That's from 10 to midnight with Jerry Bavaro and Eddie Owen. And we'll be right back here next week online, mix967online.com. Also, kickerfm.com and on our YouTube page as well. So uh, enjoy another good week of high school football, D-Mark. Right, have a great week, everybody. You too, man. So long.